Good morning, ABC family. Welcome back to another Kids Talk. Once upon a time, there was a young lady who loved cutting hair. At school, she learned that not everyone could get regular haircuts. Rather than sit around, this young lady decided to take action. She decided to give free haircuts for Jesus. People of all ages could come to her for free haircuts, and as she cut her hair, she would tell them about Jesus. ABC family, this young lady is using her gifts and talents for Jesus. We're going through a video series entitled Heroes of the Faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 11:2, people in the past became famous because of faith. ABC family, do you remember what faith is? Faith means to trust and believe in God. And today's hero, Lydia, uses her gifts and talents for Jesus. She is a role model for girls and boys alike. And we can find Lydia's story in Acts 16. Let's read her story. Then Paul and Silas went by land to Philippi the leading city in that part of Macedonia. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the city gate to the river. There we, we thought we would find a special place for prayer. Some women had gathered there. So we sat down and talked with them. There was a woman named Lydia from the city of Tyatira. Her job was selling purple cloth. She worshiped the true God. ABC family, let's get to know Lydia. Where is Lydia from? Tyatira. Can you find Tyatira on the map? Tyatira is over here. Now Tyatira is a city famous for their purple dyes. And Lydia uses these purple dyes to make purple cloth. And she sells her purple cloth in Philippi. Can you find Philippi on the map? It's way over here. Later we find out that Lydia has a home in Philippi. So either Lydia has settled in Philippi and continues to export from Tyatira, or she is rich enough to own two homes. Either way, Lydia is a very successful businesswoman and a fashion designer. ABC family, imagine all the gifts and talent that goes into running a successful clothing business. Lydia must be very hardworking, creative, good with planning and money. She must be industrious, good at communication and relating well with others. And on top of that, we see that she's also faithful. Verse 14, the Lord opened her mind to pay attention to what Paul was saying. She and all the people in her house were baptized. Then Lydia invited us to her home. She said, if you think I am truly a believer in the Lord, then come stay in my house. And she persuaded us to stay with her. ABC family, Paul shares the good news of Jesus and immediately Lydia responds in faithful obedience. She trusts Jesus as her Lord and Savior. She obeys him and gets baptized. And what's the first thing she does after getting baptized? She uses her gifts and welcomes Paul and Silas into her home. She is hospitable. She uses her gifts and talents to bless others. Lydia's story is a story of someone who is faithful in using her gifts and talents. So ABC family, what can we learn from this hero of the faith? Lydia reminds us to use our gifts and talents 
for Jesus. 1 Peter 4.10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms. Each of you have been given a gift. Some of you are really creative in art, music, or writing. Others of you are good listeners and kind-hearted. Others of you are naturally caring and helpful. And others of you are good thinkers, or good with numbers, or good with technology. All of you can use these gifts and talents for God. ABC family, may we be like Lydia and use our gifts and talents for Jesus. Next week, we'll look at our final hero of the faith, Luke. If you want to read ahead, you can find his story in Colossians 4.14. I'll see you next time.